welcome back. Today we will deal with the file. We will enable uh, choosing a file, preview it uh, locally before sending it to the server, and also check the extension if it's a valid image file or it is uh, any other file like PDF, Excel sheet, Word document, or whatever. Something like this. Choose this image. Okay. You see, without sending it to the server, and if we choose like an HTML file which is invalid, we'll see this message. The choosing file is invalid image file. Okay, let's get started. What I want to do now, the first step is to read the content of this file using the file reader service. Okay, put it inside a stream and also, I want to preview this file before I upload it to the server inside this image element. To, to do this, <coughs> I can put the file or sorry, convert the stream into or the Python array of the file into a string representation using the page 64 string and put it inside this image as a source. In this way, I can preview it locally before uploading it. At the end, we can just call the upload or post plan to the server async okay i will create a function here async task choose file file async and i will create two variables stream system.io.stream new ah, sorry this one is system.io stream like this yes cool so just set it null by default first then string image content equals string dot empty also file name equals to string dot empty as well for now now to deal with this library first i should create an object of type element reference I'll call it input reference like this then for this input here I set the reference to input reference actually this library depending on this reference to read or to fit the content from the file to get the selected file from this input now here I will set var file equals wait I'll put all this await inside access then file reader service dot create reference pad the reference that we have created which is input reference dot enumerate files async this function returns all the files that have been selected by the user but in our case we need only one file so at the end I will say first or default I just need the first file okay this is the line that actually returns all the files for you in some situations if you want to get multiple files from the user simply just remove this first or default and here you have enumerable of files you can basically iterate over it and process each file individually the way you want now I will read the info of this file and to do this File, file info equals file dot read file info async needs a little await here cool now I want to open the stream var memory stream equals to await file dot open memory where is it Create memory stream async. Dot 
that's it it's pretty easy right now I have here all the file info I need like the the name the size and the type of the file which tells you like this is an image jpg or png or pdf or whatever i want to use the name here to check uh, the extension of the file so i can validate the extension before i push it to the server to do this i'll set bar extension equals file info dot file name dot name sorry Call the function path dot get extension also I will create list of allowed extensions equals new string g dot png dot PMP. Now I have an array of all the allowed extensions for the uploaded file. I can check if the extension or the allowed extensions contains the extension of the file. Sorry, not contains. So this file is invalid. At the end, we will use the alert message to show a message here for the user that you have chosen a not allowed file or invalid file. Okay. Now, in the memory stream here, this stream will be disposed here. So, I'm going to set its content inside uh, this stream I have here. I will say file stream equals to new memory stream system.io and I can pad the content which is this memory stream dot to array which basically returns an array of bytes good now I have the stream that has all the bytes required for the file I need also the content I want to convert this into a string content or I will convert the byte array of this uh, file into a string representation using the convert to base 64 okay also to be able to show that content inside the source of this image I just want to add a little prefix for it which is the type of the, the this file like it's an image PNG or etc to do this I will set image content equals to <coughs> equals to put it like this data image or you can set directly from file info you can dot type just get the type okay file info dot type contains like image slash png or whatever then find it's base 64 comma here and here you can type the string representation of that file by using convert to base 64 string now you should pad the a byte array which is memory stream dot to array okay now inside this image content you have the image you can show it in the UI directly by just setting the source of this image element to image content okay again I made another mistake here image content cool now before we move let's test that function I will call this inside the input on change like when I choose any file I think wait 
choose file async. Here I should add partners, okay. Go to plans, add plan, enter. Let's choose a file. Okay, I'll choose this one. That's it. If you click on inspect element to see the content of this file, the CRS, okay, here is it. The source is data image slash GPEG, JPEG, base64, and this is the string representation of the file. Okay? And this way you can check the image and actually it validates it if uh, this file is a valid image or no. Right now we can show a message here if we try to upload, for example, a PDF. To do this, I will go to login, component, or register. This one. Can copy this message. Paste it here. And also these two variables. Okay, now if the file is not valid, what I can say equals to <laughs> that chosen file is not a valid image file. Then set message type equals to error and return from this function. Okay. okay, go. Let's choose an invalid file. For example, I will choose this, I don't know, HTML document. As you can see, the chosen file is not a valid image file, okay? Go back to this one. I can see this image. I should remove this message as well. This is everything related to upload the file. Yeah, it's a little bit longer process, but actually it's easy. If you look at the steps, it's very clear. Create the input, create this element reference, Read the file, read the file info, check the extension. Like, it's basically a clear steps. It's a little bit long, but it's clear. Okay, one by one. Here, if the image file is valid, you can just set message to null, like that. Okay. Okay, that was everything for that session. Now, the last step is actually just to take the data, the file stream, file name, title and description, and basically call the function uh, post plan async to add that plan to the server and navigate to the plan to the plans page. That's it. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.